one time I traveled to a faraway city. After the event, as a keynote speaker, a sister puts me aside, or a brother, regardless of the gender or what the question really is. They asked me a question, and I told them, I do not know. Then they're like, what do you mean you do not know? I'm like, I really do not know the answer to your question, even though your question is beautiful. Then they told me, we brought you all the way from the, this place to travel all the way here so you can tell me you do not know? Like, are you serious? I'm like, you know, I could have given you an answer, but it might have been wrong. So I destroy your life and I destroy my afterlife. What's the point of that? Her, her, her judgment might have been severe on me that I will never be invited by them. Isn't that right? But this when Allah comes in, do you care about Allah's judgment? Yes or no? And don't ever be shy. And you will never go wrong when you say, I do not know. Or when you say, Allahu A'lam. What does Allahu A'lam mean? What does it mean? Allah knows best. You can use it for any question in the world. Any question. Ask, brother, are you a Muslim? Allahu A'lam. Isn't it? Allah knows best. Uh, brother, are you straight? Allahu A'lam. What are you talking about, brother? Allah, Allah knows best. You never go wrong with it. And even brings you a smile, alhamdulillah, and it saves your life. Allahu A'lam. By the way, the answer is yes for both. Okay? <laughs> I'm just joking. Allahu A'lam. But the point being is something to truly appreciate. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wallahi, this hadith is remarkable. This hadith humbles every creature who, sees, who says, La ilaha illallah from the Rasulullah. May Allah make you die upon it. La ilaha illallah from the Rasulullah. A man asked the Prophet in an authentic narration, What are the most disliked locations in the sight of Allah? Is it clear? What is the most disliked location in the sight of Allah? When the Prophet was asked this question, what did the Prophet say? La adri, I do not know. If the Prophet was able to say, La adri, then what about us? Did he care about people judging him? Well, you're not worthy of being a Prophet. La, move on. So he said, let me go ask Jibreel. So he goes, asks Jibreel. Jibreel, ma ashru al-aswaqi aw al-buldani ila Allah. What is the most disliked location in the sight of Allah? You know what Jibreel alayhi salam, obviously will give the answer, right? He is the angel that was assigned to every prophet. But Jibreel said, la adri, I do not know. Hatta as'ala rabbi, until I go ask Allah. So Jibreel goes, asks Allah and gets the response for Allah is al-alim, the all-knowing. Jibreel goes back, he says, Ya Muhammad, laqad sa'altani, you asked me, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is the most disliked location in sight of Allah? Fasa'altu Rabbi, I asked Allah, and he told me the answer. But you see how he, they went through it? He didn't say, oh, you know what? I, I believe, I do not know, but I think. <laughs> but I think. You do not know, khalas, save your life, save your deen.